Hello everyone. We got a 2012 Vauxhall Mocha. I absolutely love these cars. It's got a fault with the headlights. We've done already done a little bit of work on it. We've got our lives, we've got other earths. We've got a communication fault with a headlight control module, which are in both the headlights. It All it does is it levels itself and it won't stop doing that for a while. And then after that, you've got nothing. We've also noticed that the high beam when it does turn on, um, you can turn it on when no dip beam's on. And then when you turn the dip beam on, you can't turn the high beam on. They're both the same brightness. So we don't really know what's going on. What we need to do is get both the headlights out. To do that, we've got to do a major strip down at the front end, get most of it off, just so we can get to the headlights themselves properly, full access. So what we're going to do is we're going to start stripping it down now, pull the bonnet up, get the front bumper off, and let's do some more rigorous testing. So, let's have a crack at it. Right everyone, so this is what we got on the dash. Headlight leveling malfunction. And um, this is what happens if we try and use the full beam. No bueno, she don't like it. So here's with the lights on. Trying to put full beam on and it's not having it at all. As we can tell it's working on the dash but we've got no lights. So what we need to do is go straight to the headlights and see what's going on. Hello everyone, back on the mocker today. Um, it is a new day, I've moved it into my work, work bay. Um, so we've got the front bumper off, Shh, run through. Front bumper off, headlights on the workbench. And just as a little update, so we've got a code in here for loss of communication. Um, with the headlights so we've taken the front bumper off to get the headlights out to have a look at all the wiring um, it is a common fault on these supposedly um, that the wiring to the headlights um, gets caught up in stuff and it breaks quite often so we've run through the wiring it all looks good there's no breaks in the wiring what we need to do now is these are limb bus controlled and i'll show you on the diagram in a minute but what we need to do is test our limb bus um, go into each headlight and make sure we've got communication um, which we can do on our power probe and we'll run through that. I'm going to take you to the diagram and uh, we'll have a little bit of a scrum down of what, what the plan is. Here we are at the diagram. This is for the left headlight and um, we've got another one open for the right but it's just easier if I show you on this one because it's got more detail on. So here we've got our headlight assembly and inside we've got our control modules for the levelling uh, left, right, up, down, high beam, and it all comes in through this wire. This is our limb bus wire coming into the headlight. And what it does, it goes through all three modules. So if one of them gets knocked out, or there's, say there's a broken wire inside the headlight for here, it shuts it all down. So if we've got a problem with the link coming in, we know it's outside of the headlight. If we've got a good link coming in, we know that it's, it's most likely going to be inside one of the headlights either a wire is broken, a module's gone down, and it's knocked everything out. So let's go to this wire, um, the green wire going into the headlights. Let's check both of our lins quickly. Make sure we've got a signal um, coming in. And then if, if we have, we're gonna run to the headlights, have a look inside, see what the modules are saying. And yeah, so let's check that now, I'll set you up. So everyone, we've got our probe set up on graph mode, and I've already got it pinned. So let's have a look, see what we got. As you can see on the graph, we've got a solid signal coming through our LIN here. This is for the left side, so let's run over to the right quickly, make sure we've got the same thing. And here we are on the right. As you can see on the probe, we've got a solid LIN signal coming through on the right as well. So back at the diagram now, um, we know that our LIN communication is solid going into both of the headlights. Um, what I'm now going to do is load test these three voltages coming in because um, I know we've we've had a look for damaged wiring or corroded wiring but this is the, the definitive answer as to the integrity of the wire, um, our power wire coming down. So what we're going to do is go to these three pins on both of the plugs. Um, I've got the load test out and we'll run through that, see what it's telling us. I'll see you in a minute. Right everybody, so we've got our load tester and our multimeter. 
we've got to test these two wires here, the red and yellow, and same with this one here. So let's have a little counter. So as you can see, we've got the tester in. There's a load on it, and it only drops down a little bit. So we know that that one is all good. Here we go, on pin two. Chuck a load on it, and it's dropped down the same amount. So we know that that one's all good as well. Last one. Here we go. There we go. So we know all of our lives coming down to the left headlight are all good. Let's jump over to the to the right side. And here we are, guys. We're on the right side. It's the same three. So let's have a quick look. See on a meter, we got 11, 12 volt, and it only drops down a bit. Second pin. That's all good. And look at that on the third pin. There we go. Now we know the integrity of our live coming to both of the headlights are all good. What we're going to do now is check the earths. Um, they've both got their own earth path. So let's set up the low test on that and see what we've got. Make sure our earths are all right. Bonjour, guys. Here we are. So we've it's the same as the lives. We've got three earths. We've got these two and this one on the back. And we're going to load test these. We've got our... Test all set up, multimeter there. Let's have a gander. There we go. Put a load on it. And he drops down a tad. It's all good for pin one. Second pin. That one's all good. Third one. And that one's the same. This is the left side, let's jump over to the right. And here we are guys, we're on the right side, same again, it's got three earths, that's it under load, it's all good, pin one, pin two now, under load, it's all good. And pin three, under load, it's all good. Right, so that tells us the integrity of our lives and earths and our lin coming to the headlight, uh, headlights are completely fine. Um, we've got no broken wires because otherwise the load, load test would have shown us the voltage drop significantly. It only dropped pretty much nothing. Um, we know we've got good communication on our lin because the signals are all good on the probe. All we can do now is have a look on the headlight side. We've already got them out on the desk. Let's check the wiring from the plug down to inside the headlight and pull the modules off, things, plates on the side, see what inside is looking like, see if it's all good. Because we could have a broken wire, a bit of corroded wire, maybe a pinch on or inside the headlight. So let's have a look. Right everyone, so I've been having an inspection on both of the headlights and we found it. I'm going to show you what we have found. So obviously inside our headlights, we've got our three modules. We've got one over there, one here, and one through there. And let me just show you what we found. I don't know if you can see it in there, but on that plug, there it is. We've got a broken wire. And the same up there. Uh, we've got a broken wire there as well. So there we've got it, we've got two broken wires internal, inside the headlight. Something else we've also noticed is that two of the modules look different. Um, I'll just show you quickly. So this is for the right side, the top module is like that, and this, on the left side that's what it looks like on there. So we are under the assumption, but you know what they say about assumptions, the uh, mother of all cock-ups. Um, that the right side may have been changed at some point in its lifetime. But who knows at the moment, all we know is we've got two broken wires internal. Um, what we're going to do is see if we can pull it out far enough and try and give it a repair. But 
everyone knows that when you're trying to work inside a headlight, they give you nothing, they give you no room to play with, not a lot of stuff you can actually take off a headlight um, to look inside without it being a complete pain in the backside. So let's have a gander, see what we can do, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Hello everyone, uh, just a quick update of what is going on. So at the moment we've done, we've pulled the wiring through because it's in there and we pulled it all the way up. Um, we've done the one repair, so this was pink one that was broken down the side here. Um, it was actually broken about here on, on the original wire, just before the, the join. So what I've done is I've chopped it back to where the two wires meet here, so I can make a better connection in there instead of it just being crimped. I've soldered them, soldered them all together and done the repair. Um, what we've had to do is repin this one. Um, obviously the one that was broken right at the plug down there. We've uh, had to solder on a new wire to the pin um, and I've literally just got a, it was broken as well, it was broken again. Same wire broken twice um, down there as well. So I'm just gonna do this repair and then we're gonna test it out. I'll catch up with you in a minute. We've plugged the headlights back in, knock on wood, they should be all good to go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've slotted the headlights back in with the repair done. Let's see what we got. That was a lovely noise. Right, so, see this. And there we go, we've got no level malfunction. Let's test the lights out, so the lights are off at the moment. There are the autos. Side lights, let's make sure they're coming on. Yep, they're all good. There we go, and then we'll try the main beam. There we go. It's all good. Literally, them broken wires inside the, inside the headlight itself, preventing the limb bus from communicating to everything else. As we said, it's got to go through all of them, so all six modules, otherwise it throws out every single one. If one of them's done, they're all done. And it's as simple as that. It took a little bit of getting to. Um, we load tested all the wires to make sure everything on the car was good, so we knew it was either car or headlight. Luckily, the repair was easy inside the headlight because usually they don't give you any room to play with or any way of taking a headlight apart easily so we can get in there and do the repair. Luckily, we'd be a, we were able to put them all through. So, got to get everything back together now. Put the bumper on, make sure the headlights are in there secure, nice and tight, and the gaps are looking all good. So I'm going to put it all back together, give it one more test at the end, make sure it's still all good. And yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. And there you have it, it's all back together and <laughs> she's all good in the hood. This one's ready to go back to the customer. If you like what you saw, let us know down in the comments, anything could have improved on. If not, give us a little like, just let us know. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da. Get all the bits and bobs off, get the, bumper, get the front bumper off. No brakes, no nothing anywhere.